every Methodist preacher in America left their homes and their parish on Christmas Eve, which is something that could not happen today. For them, the important place to be was to be in the church, forming this denomination, dealing with the business that, that it took to create a church that would serve the people. John Strawbridge is the historian at Lovely Lane United Methodist Church in Maryland. Lovely Lane Chapel was the site of the Christmas Conference of 1784. So they gathered all the preachers in, in America, more than about 86 preachers that they know of at the time, and planned to meet at the Lovely Lane Chapel uh, on Christmas Eve, 1784, for the formation of a new denomination. Uh, and they met in conference for 10 days. Uh, they established a discipline, uh, a book of worship. They ordained preachers, and they set aside Asbury as the first superintendent. It was 10 days of debates and struggles and, and accusations and reconciliations and the kinds of things that we do as Methodists, which is beautiful in its own way, to realize that this is not something that was handed down from the high on church, but that those people all came together as lay people. It's so important that the laity realize that they are not the audience, that they are the church. And I think that's really strong in Methodism, and I think it's really important that you realize that this is not a church where you go and leave it to the pastor. You are the church. You are expected to do the work that the church does. So it was that Christmas Eve uh, conference in 1784 that established Methodism for the first time as its own denomination. So even though the movement began in England, as a church, Methodism was born uh, at the Lovely Lane Chapel in 1784. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.